In Finland, there are an estimated 250,000 occupational accidents per year, meaning that up to 10% of employed people experience accidents at work. More than 100,000 of these accidents cause healthcare and other costs, covered by workers' compensation insurance, which total over 330 million euros annually. Although all accidents do not cause costs directly covered by the insurance, they cause absence from work, disturbances, additional work, delays, damage to reputation, and so on. Every lost day of work affects the entire organization's operation. Confederation of Finnish Industries has estimated that one day absent from work costs the employer three times the salary. The assessment has considered the slowing down of production, the organization of workforce substitution, and the overtime caused by lost work hours. For an average Finnish salary, this means over $400 from a full workday and over $2,000 from a full work week. The assessment does not include, for example, the time spent on managing and investigating the occupational accident, not to mention the recruitment and training the substitution for long-term absence. Stop for a moment and think about how your organization would survive an occupational accident of a different severity. Let's look at the issue through two examples. In the first example, the employee falls, causing a serious injury. The days of absence alone costed the employer 30,000 euros. The recovery period and possible permanent damages are, in this case, as in many other accidents, very difficult to predict. The accident could have been prevented by adding about a thousand euro railing. In the second example, the employee's head was hit by a heavy object. The employee suffered a lifelong injury and permanent work disability. The compensation paid by the insurance company rose to hundreds of thousands of euros. The accident could have been prevented by a joint risk assessment by the owners and suppliers, and by acting in accordance with the assessment results. The best way is to assess the risks already during the planning phase of the work. Safety requires deciding that work is only performed when the risks are managed and the work can be performed safely. It is worth learning about hazardous incidents. By studying them, you can get the same results as with the post-accident assessments, but without the losses caused by the accident. Returning home from work unharmed is everyone's basic right that should not be threatened. Organizations committed to safety at work are desirable jobs. By taking care of the employees, the availability of workforce is ensured in the future as well.